All right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 220, titled, I'm going to regret this, as quoted by C-3PO. And let's get more information about C-3PO. Orphney told of an ancient covenant between the Alina and the subterranean dwellers that had recently been broken by the movement of poisonous surface air to their world that did not go through the natural filtering process. The underground dwellers had caused a ground quake in retaliation. Eager to prevent more Alina deaths, C-3PO offered to seal the breach, but the mysterious Orphne disappeared after leaving them with a riddle. You can run, but you cannot walk. You have a mouth, but cannot talk. You have a head, but never weep. You have a bed, but never sleep. Ask yourself, who are you? C-3PO bid R2-D2 to play back the riddle one more time and then began to ponder its meaning. Unbeknownst to the protocol droid, R2-D2 found several circles on the floor that were decorated with symbols representing the four elements. When he sprayed some water on the appropriate circle, it helped C-3PO solve the riddle. A river. The chamber's central circle then rose in the air on a jet of water and carried both droids back to Aline's surface. Both droids were launched high into the air and sent crashing down next to the hole through which they had initially fallen. Toxic underground air was rising through the breach and causing nearby Alina to cough, which prompted R2-D2 to pull on it with his cable gun. C-3PO added his own strength by pushing and the droids successfully sealed the hole. The two worlds were once more separated. At that moment, Moment, several clone troopers arrived. Skeptical of C-3PO's claims of an adventure, they escorted the droids back to the LAATs. Manchucho thanked C-3PO for his help, and the group launched to return to their ship and proceed to a rendezvous with Jedi Master Adi Galia. While traveling aboard Galia's Venator-class Star Destroyer en route to Republic Space, C-3PO communicated with a holographic image of Amidala that was displayed by R2-D2. She told the protocol droid that he was needed back on Coruscant, but that plan was curtailed by the arrival of a Separatist fleet. An evacuation was ordered after the Venator's main reactor was hit and a Separatist attack force boarded the Star Destroyer. In a corridor, C-3PO and R2-D2 saw General Grievous engage Master Galia in a lightsaber duel and they consequently fled in search of an escape pod. When they ended up in a hangar, C-3PO reluctantly followed R2-D2 into a Y-Wing bomber, which the astromech operated from the droid socket and piloted out into the unfolding space battle. R2-D2 destroyed one Separatist Vulture droid, but eventually took them to the nearby planet Petitite Patuna, when the Venator was turned into stellar debris. A pursuing Vulture droid knocked out the fighter's reactor, but when it lost them in the atmosphere's cloud cover, R2-D2 brought the Y-Wing around behind it and destroyed it. The Y-Wing's reactor then shut down and the droids crash landed into a marsh. That's it for now. More information on the next C-3PO card. And now it's the back side of the card and it's Movie, movie Facts. Back. Number 21 of 22. Famed film composer John Williams spent a year preparing his ideas for the score for Star Wars. During March 1977, he conducted the 87-piece London Symphony Orchestra in a series of 14 sessions in order to record the 90 minutes of original music, which complements the futuristic images with a classic and extremely romantic motif. Well, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.